Bell and Sebastian were on the run from the police in an old port town. When, by great good luck, they bumped into their old friend Sarah, who'd helped them once before. They devised a plan which involved Bell and Sebastian's hiding away on Sarah's father's ship. The local chief of police helped them too by not giving away their secret. Thanks to Sarah's loyal friendship, Sebastian was safe once again. He and Belle were able to get out of their hiding places as soon as the ship was safely out to sea. But Sebastian knew he couldn't stay long with Sarah. He promised that they'd see one another again soon and then set off on his journey south. This last adventure had been a very close call. from the rain in that old castle. Whoa! And what are you doing running around in this bad weather, young man? I'm looking for shelter over at that castle. At the castle? Well, there are plenty of other places for you to sleep, so stay away from the old castle. But why is that? Well, some people believe there's a ghost who's haunted the castle for centuries. A real ghost? Yes. Yeah. Some people had a really terrifying experience there once. Everyone's kept away since. That's all right with us. <laughs> We're not going to be scared by some old story about a ghost, are we? Yes, but you're all alone. I'm not worried. When Belle and I are together, we're always safe. Bye-bye. Sebastian race up the long path to the castle. All they can think about right now is getting out of the rain. Be scared and find a place to sleep. Imagination. Well, at least I hope so. <gasps> wow. Wow. Look at this incredible bed in here. Let's get ready for bed now. 
It looks like this old bed was just sitting here waiting for all of us to arrive. It's all right, Belle. This castle is so neat and tidy, you would certainly think that someone was still living here. Just to be safe, we'll leave the light on all night. Go to sleep. Sebastian could hardly believe it. He'd never been so frightened. The boy ghost had fainted, so Sebastian put him in the big bed. He slept right through the night, and when the sun came out the next morning, Sebastian was sitting by his bedside, waiting for him to wake up. <laughs> and how are we doing this morning, Mr. Ghost? It could be better. You know, I would have won that game for sure if your big dog hadn't gotten in the way and ruined all my fun. Hmm? <laughs> I did a good job. You were so frightened. Well, I've never had such a terrible experience before. That's not funny. I never really meant to go so far when I started. Except in the beginning, I didn't think anything could spook you. Most people run away from the moment I start howling. Hmm? You mean you've been scaring people all this time? Yes, my name's Ichabod. I'm the master of this castle. And my name's Sebastian. And this is Belle. And Poochie. They're my best friends in the whole wide world. Wow, that's really terrific. Huh? Poochie wants you to know that now you're our friend too. Oh, 
I'd like to be your friend. <laughs> now that we really are friends, I'll show you the hidden secrets in this castle. All of them. Real secrets? Here, let me show you one. Huh? Oh, wow! <laughs> this is a secret hallway. Cut it out! Don't scare me! It's not scary when you know the secret behind it. The secret of the flying ghost is very simple once you understand it. What? It's large, so I had to put a lot of thinking to planning all of it. The tricks are terrific. I wish I lived in a castle. I almost forgot. What's up? This is incredible. You even keep a goat here. Except sometimes it gets hard to live here, like I do. All alone. You live here all alone? Now follow me. There's something I want to show you upstairs. Hmm? Sebastian ran upstairs with Ichabod, who was the most remarkable boy he'd ever met. Is this where you disappeared to when I ran after you yesterday? That's right. I ran up this ladder. This room's where I live. Gee. Sebastian fell in love with Ichabod's room. Wow. Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. You've even got a telescope. Try looking through it. This is incredible. I never thought that real people lived like this. Only people I read about in books. You are wrong. You can stay here as long as you want. How does that sound to you? Mm -hmm. But Ichabod, don't you live in a real home someplace else besides this one? I guess the place you'd call my real home is a short distance from here. Then who does this castle belong to? I used to live here a long time ago, when I was a very little boy. I used to live here alone with my father. Ichabod, are you all right? Sebastian, a gentleman never asks too many questions. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Hey, listen, Ichabod, I've made a decision. I'd like to stay here for a while. Hmm? Huh? So high, this is fun. <laughs> there! There! Stop! Hey, there's Poochie swimming. Can Bell swim too? Yeah, sure. <laughs> After a few days at the castle, Sebastian was still fascinated by Ichabod. He knew so many interesting things and always had a trick up his sleeve. Still, he felt there was one secret that Ichabod was keeping from him. <laughs> <laughs> this food is great! Huh? Here, Belle. Here, Poochie. One day, their happy routine was interrupted. Oh boy, we've got a problem. This thing's run out of oil. What can we do about it? We can get some more in the village. Great, it'd be fun to go shopping. I think we should go borrow some, know what I mean? 
as long as we don't get caught. Go borrow some of it? You really mean you should go and steal it? Mm, I guess so. Well, I don't want to do that. I won't steal. <laughs> All right, you won't have to. I have some money I could give you instead. Let up here for a second. All right. I don't really feel like going shopping today. Here, this should take care of everything. Well... What do you think of all this, Bill? I like Ichabod and I don't want to suspect him of anything. But this is a real gold coin he gave me. The village is not far away. And something very strange is going on here as Sebastian starts out for it. Hmm. Where should we start? You start over there, I'll begin this way. Right. Excuse me, ma'am, but did you happen to see a young boy roaming around the village? He's about ten years old. I can't say that I have. Not a lot of people pass through this village. Nope, I haven't seen anyone new in town either. Uh, well, if you see him around, here's a phone number you should call. There's a reward for whoever finds him. Bill, you stay right here and wait for me. I'll be back real soon. I'd like to buy this. And this, too. And some oil. I think that'll be all. Oh, you've got an awful lot of stuff here. I've got my money in my pocket. Here. Should be more than plenty to cover it. Hmm. Say, are you here with your father? Sure. Where exactly did this gold coin come from? Well, it's mine. Listen, you don't look like a prince, but still you have a gold coin, and that means only one thing to me. I haven't stolen anything. Huh? Huh? There's something important I want to talk to you about, kid. Let me go! I'm very sorry. They thought you were another little boy. Huh? But he had this gold coin. Yeah, I caught him giving it to a shopkeeper to buy some groceries. Uh-huh. This coin belongs to Ichabod. Huh? Tell me the truth. Do you know where Ichabod is? Uh, well, I... Ichabod ran away from home and took lots of money from his father's safe. He must have an entire case of more gold coins and expensive jewels with him. Well, perhaps I should introduce myself. I'm Olivia, Ichabod's older sister. Oh, yours... Uh... Our father's very anxious to find him and bring him home. Tell me where Ichabod is so I can bring him home to his father. Hey, kid, you should tell us the whole truth or... I have an even better idea. Why don't you tell Ichabod that we're here and we'd like him to come home with us? Mm-hmm. That's such good news. I really appreciate your help. I'll see what I can do. Come on, Belle. Let's go. He'll slip out of our hands. Just be quiet. We'll follow him and the dog. They'll lead us right to Ichabod. Oh. 
Sebastian! I saw everything through the telescope. Those two strange men were chasing you, weren't they? Sebastian? You'd better go home now and tell the truth. I saw it and you didn't know it. That box of money you were hiding in the basement. What? You did see it. Ugh! Your sister told me everything. She wants you to go home. She's not my sister. Let me go. Ugh. Huh? Help! Help me, Sebastian! Ah! Ichabod! Oh! Ichabod! and make it fast. McCann. Mm. What happened to Bell? Okay, let's get going. with Ichabod. Belle knew something terrible would happen if she didn't find Sebastian quickly. But which direction did they drive off in? And where were they headed? All Belle could do was follow that scent and hope she was not too late. <laughs> 